We came out to do a job, and I think none of us could have envisioned how much we would do. And now that we're at the end of the trail and we're looking back and we can see just the sheer number of people, the sheer number of shots, uh, just how big a lift this was, and it's over. When we started this, we were double masking. And now we're not even wearing masks. You know, we're opening back up. People are going to ball games. You know, families are being reunited. In our early days when we were with the older population who hadn't seen their grandkids for a year, hadn't hugged somebody for, for fear of, of catching COVID, and you see just the relief and the tears in their eyes when they, you know, they get the shot and they're, some of them being wheeled out, just knowing that their life is coming back. You know, that they can be with their families again, that they can, that they don't have to be scared. Um, and that's just, you know, there's a price tag on all of this, but you see that and it's, it's priceless. I feel um, excited and I feel a little sad. There's been a lot of relationships that we've developed and just a collective effort amongst multiple organizations that have made one community work to implement something that's been really important to a huge population. So it's a little bittersweet. And I don't want to cry on camera. <laughs> the best part about the job is to see the people come up to you or when we're at the call center and they're just like, you really appreciate all the work you're doing and your long hours. It really just makes it all worth it. It's just another example of the Henrico way and getting out there and um, serving the community and getting them back to some semblance of normalcy um, the best way we can. This was something that uh, a lot of people saw the need and um, said, okay, who can we get to do this? And we said, we have school nurses that are fabulous, and um, I, I could not be prouder of our group. As of today, we've been able to get approximately 166,000 doses to our community. So it's been a huge endeavor, but a fulfilling one, because um, we've been able to get into our communities, really help our residents, uh, make them feel more comfortable for the ones that wanted the vaccine. So it's been it's been an amazing experience. I think us being aggressive like we were and just saying, hey, we're going to go do this and having a goal in mind and just knocking it out as, uh, you know, it's been really successful. I'm happy because I'm ready to go back to work, but I'm really sad more than anything because I've made lifelong friends here. People who work for the county, the city, um, volunteers that are just coming from wherever or just walk in the door and want to volunteer. These are my friends now, and um, I'm going to miss them. I thought Henrico was great uh, before, before the pandemic, but now I know Henrico is great. Not only the public safety, but knowing the capabilities of our general government, knowing the capabilities in our schools, and then also knowing our community and knowing how grateful they've been, how receptive they've been, and how helpful they've been. When we ask for volunteers out here, there were so many volunteers that want to come out here, we didn't have spots for them. So really when we uh, talk about and we have our logo, our One Henrico uh, logo, that really means One Henrico uh, from our general government to our schools, to our public safety, uh, to our community.